My name is Ezai Pilipili. Pilipili. One time I was also one of our old Kampala students. This was also my class. We used, we used to sit in the back, back bench. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to take you along at Old Kampala Primary School as I was honored to be a guest speaker, talk to students about life experience, share some wisdom, and overall just having fun, storytelling, and exchanging some questions and life experience overall. So just come along and enjoy these beautiful children, students of all the Kampala Primary School. And I was sitting back bench <laughs> behind there, but this was our class too, and we had to do whatever we had to do to, to get through it. So my name is Esai Pili. All the way from Kongo. And I used to tell you, name with them and Nagana, and give a phone call for you. Say Abana. Now you see, today you are saying Uduri. So, you should be good children also, so that you be like them. Yeah? Are we together? Yes. How many of you want to be like him? Me. Like him. <laughs> How many of you want to be like Tisha Odongo? <laughs> you want to be like me? Okay, okay, okay. So, he's going to come and talk to you another time. Do you want him to teach you? Yes! Okay, he's coming to teach you. Thank you. Thank you, have a good one. How are you? Hello children. Hello. Actually not children already. <laughs> My name is Ezai Pili. <laughs> So this was also my class. We used, we used to sit in the back, back yeah. bench. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many back yeah. 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 bench are we have? Yeah. 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 And you guys, we used to like sitting there with Pascal's uh, Gile. And actually, we, we had to make through whatever we had to do. But some, one thing I will tell you that education is, is everywhere, and education is something that we should take with consideration. Even if you know, at some we used to play too much. Yeah. But as we are growing, <laughs> now we are seeing the value. <laughs> <laughs> this school, this is where I, I came from Congo, where I first came from Congo, and I didn't know English. And this is where I learned my first English, my first word in English, yeah. writing. And when I, I went to America, people were surprised. But you know English. You're not like us, that you already know English. Yes. All I got it from here. Oh. And I and did. You can for me. <laughs> Bye.
I'm really sorry. I don't know the video cut out to the person who was recording. Maybe you didn't notice. So I'm going to finish up the story because this is actually my story. And that is uh, the principal, Agre, back then he used to be a teacher. Now he's the principal of the school. So what happened really was that I was wearing sandals and which was in school uh, uniform, school code or it's uniform code something like, like that just like you can see these kids are wearing like those kids are in proper uniform but for me i was wearing sandals and we weren't we weren't allowed to wear sandals so what happened like if you don't have proper uniform uh they will confiscate your uniform and that's what happened to me they are uh, the teacher who's called Slayman confiscated my sandals and he was supposed to give it back at the end of school but Maybe he forgot to give him back and then he went to, he left earlier and he went to other jobs of him. And he went to other jobs, I don't know, something like that. So I was waiting for him all the time. And the good thing is that I knew where he used to stay. He was, he used to stay right in the comp and the school compound in the back. They used to have teacher housing. So I will I know where to find him. So I went to his house and then I met his wife. And she said that he already left for his night uh shift. He has a night shift some somewhere. So I was like, how am I going back home? And I had no shoes with me. <laughs> My friend borrowed me uh his like a uh a slippers and but I couldn't go back home with slippers like I don't know what my, my parents could have said, something like that. So I was like, I went to his house and then I told his wife, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, your, my, the, your husband's uh, boots and then I'll take his boots until when he will return my my sandals and then I will give back his boots. So actually, I did like a revenge and I took his nicest boots like those boots were so expensive and new. So I took the boots and I put them on. And then I was walking in the street, shining. Everybody was like, where, where did you get these boots from? Like, boots were nice. So it was a crazy day tomorrow when I came back from, I, I returned to school. And everybody already knew that I took the teacher's boots. <laughs> so actually, I had to, to go in front of the school. The school board, <laughs> and I don't know the school, the school uh office, and justify why I took uh, the teacher's shoes. 
So, and then later on, after they knew that I did it for my own safety because I couldn't go back like bare feet at home. Uh, and then I wasn't, I did not get any punishment after all, but I came back with the boots and I gave back the teacher his boots and he also gave back my sandals in exchange. And actually those wasn't my sandals, those sandals were, uh, belonged to my cousin. So, I, you know, I didn't have any how to explain to my cousin how I lost his sandals and all that. So it was like a crazy day. Everybody was just talking about me. Everybody was talking about the incident. And actually, the teacher was like also surprised, like, like how could I have done, you know, just like, you know, it's like a critical thinking, like, in exchange of this, I'll do this, but it's not harming anybody, you know, it's just like an alternative. <laughs> And everybody was amazed that uh, I did that, you know, for my own safety first. And also, I did it, you know, in just a proper way because I returned back the shoes uh, to also retrieve mine. And I, I was surprised that uh, the teacher Agri still remembered the story because it's so, it was like in 2014, back in 2014. So it was a crazy day. And I remember everybody was talking about... Yeah, the, the situation, everybody was coming to me, asking me, like, am I getting in trouble? Some people thought, like, I would, you know, I'll be charged, maybe thefts or something like that. But it ended, it ended well. I went to the teacher and I asked him to forgive me. And he also, like, say like, no, that was also my fault. So we had a good understanding after then. And, yeah, that was the end of the story. If you guys love this story... Please leave a comment and then because I'm planning to make a film, you know, like a short film or, you know, something like that, you know, just like an educational film. But I know so I'll, I'll try to see if I can do it with the a student in Uganda. So you guys should leave a comment if you think it's a good story, you know, and then I can pick it up from there. But that is just something that came to my mind when uh, the teacher started talking about it, you know. I kind of have like a good feeling about it and people may learn from there so yeah thank you for watching please leave a like share comment subscribe all that's beautiful stuff see you later